What is up Kilo Crew and welcome to today's video. Today Randy and I, the Boo Thang, we are riding in our slick rental Dodge Charger Daytona edition on our way to Monster Mash Burgers in Sevierville, Tennessee, about to take on a massive like 15 pound challenge called the Frankenstein Burger. We will have one hour, correct? Yep. To take down an insane burger that is, it's its silly. It's a Frankenstein Eight burger. Eight pounds of ground beef. It's its gonna be nutty, absolutely nutty, but it's gonna be awesome to take on something that's finally not a pizza together. So we will catch you guys at the restaurant when the food arrives. Frankenstein Burger has arrived in front of us here at Monster Mash Burgers in Sevierville, Tennessee. This thing is insane, absolutely insane to see in person. We have an eight pound beef patty here, like 12 slices of cheddar cheese, a pound of hot dogs, like a pound of bacon, a bunch of healthy vegetables, and we do have a big old bowl of chili on the side and also a giant bowl of fries. Randy and I will each have one hour to take this down together in order to win this $50 meal for free and some groovy t-shirts and a spot up on the Wall of Fame. There have only been 11 teams that have won so far, even though there have been like 300-ish that have tried. So we are a little bit intimidated, but we are definitely hungry and ready to eat after a long flight here. But as always, there's nothing to it but to do it. Without any further delay, let's get this challenge started. One, two, three. Boom. Boom. All right. Knives out. I've got my massive one. I'm gonna cut it into halves. And thankfully, we've got an hour to do this. Okay, they cooked that really well. What is up, Kilo Crew? And welcome to a true monster of a team burger challenge. This thing was insane. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of families here, but it's a bit too big. This is a lot of hot dog. Luckily, we had a really fun crowd there to cheer us on as we powered our way through this thing. Friends are covering my timer. Sorry about that mistake. Now you can see it. <laughs> Look at that rookie move there, like it was my first day in the office or something putting fries in front of the timer. Come on now. My half of the hot dogs are all gone. Those went right down. This bacon's going right down too. The record is 29 minutes. That's very fast. I don't know if we're gonna break that. We're gonna try, but just getting the win is the main thing. Delicious so far. Yeah, and fun fact about that, none of the 11 teams that won were professional eaters, but I'll kind of touch on that a bit more later. I'm officially done with a full one quarter of the burger. Cheers. <laughs> As you can see, Randy and I had vastly different strategies here, but I'm really happy that I decided to eat the bread along the way. This is my reach. Mm. I need some fries in my life. Do you guys know how much I love fries? Mm. Well seasoned. Yeah, overall, zero complaints about the actual taste of the food. The fries were actually rather pleasant. That is not small. Whew. Thankfully, we're standing for this. Uh-huh. With this super-sized behemoth, we needed every square inch of space in our tummies that we could get. Mm. Oh, yeah. The world is right again. Victory today is brought to you by Heinz. Yes, Heinz, sponsor me, please. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? But really, ketchup does help everything go down a lot easier. Thank you, 
much. Katina actually, I think technically is ahead of me. I gotta catch up. Yeah, she's done with half of her bun. I still have all my bun. Yeah, I'm not a fan of eating just like a bun with sauce all over it, so mad props to Randy for being able to get that down as it is just plain and saucy. Mm. It's still feeling good, right? I mean, if you finish your half. Oh yeah, I, I got feel that. right if you're finishing your half. Oh. I've been on a diet. I definitely went into this one very hungry and ready to eat. That is for sure. I have lots of room. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, amen. Okay. Hallelujah. We made a switch. Katina's going to do that part. I'm going to do that part. It's closer to how I like mine. Mooing. I like my steak mooing, not my hamburger. <laughs> Yeah, just a little too pink for me right in the middle, but that is to be expected when making a monster-sized patty like this. All right, I'm giving him the onions. I'm such a good girlfriend. He gets all the help. <laughs> Meanwhile, I make sacrifices for the gluten. Taco burger. Mm. So cool. Little tradesies there. That's teamwork. He gets the onions, I get the bread. So once we get the beef done, we'll be okay. I have about a quarter of my side of the bun left. It's going down pretty good. It's a nice, soft sesame seed bun. Really delicious. Some places you go, their, their bun, because it's so big, is kind of tough. This is a really good one. Yeah, I'd really like to know who baked this monstrosity. <laughs> that thing is like the size of a pizza tray, but really good, like I said. He's a madman. That is disgusting. That is literally a pile of raw red onions. My worst nightmare. <laughs> but it looks like he was really enjoying it there, and like a true gentleman, he finished off all of those healthy vegetables like a champ, and we were able to kind of move on to tackling some bread and tackling more fries and more beef. fries along the way and even cold they're pretty darn good they're really well seasoned they're like mcdonald's style i guess i don't know how else to describe them really yummy all right so this is where voiceover katina will start to throw a little bit of shade let's just say that the teams that won didn't get the same burger the same food challenge that randy and i got they definitely put their thumb on the scale a bit for us and it was pretty unfortunate you want that love Okay. Making myself a little meat salad. I will go ahead and show you guys the normal burger challenge in just a moment here. We were trying to keep it pretty positive for the crowd. All right, so on top is our Frankenstein burger, and the bottom is the typical Frankenstein burger. All right. Last bite of beef on my side. Thank you. Good work. Oh, I can't even speak. Yeah, so just overlaying some footage here, I would say we probably got twice the amount of meat that the typical burger contains on it. And then we definitely got a supersized version of the french fries. This footage here, they probably put the chili on the burger while we got it on the side. Oh, mama. Ooh. Anyways, that's enough negativity. We were just a bit upset that we weren't treated the way that everyone else was, but back to the fun. I've been struggling since like 20 minutes in. 51.45, yeah, Katina is kicking butt. I'm, I hope she stays with me after this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My world is unconditional. <laughs> But yeah, mad props to this crowd that was cheering us on the entire way through this challenge. There was so much hype going on and it was an absolute blast to interact with everybody and hear all the kids cheering us on and being so positive and, you know, just really giving us their full support. But that's enough for me for now. I will let you enjoy the rest of the video. Final bite of burger. Cheers to everyone. 
Ooh. It's a french fry and chili challenge. Chili challenge for Randy, french fry challenge for me. We're gonna do our best. Five minutes, let's go. Yeah! Woo! Yeah. Ketchup! 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 Unfortunately, ain't no time for ketchup right now. I'm sorry, it's about to get real gross up in here. We're balling up the fries. Oh, bottoms up. Bottoms up. We got a minute left. I think we can do it. <laughs> Ten seconds to go. Unfortunately, we were not able to finish the giant Frankenstein burger here in under one hour. We do have probably like a pound and a half of fries left and a little under a pound of chili. Randy did a great job. Overall, that was a delicious tasting burger, but unfortunately, we will not be getting the $50 meal for free. Sad day, sad day indeed. But a big thank you to everyone here who cheered us on. Uh, we will be back hopefully to take this on again and join the other 11 teams that have won this challenge. Uh, In 2022. Yeah, someday, when we're all grown up. Thank you all so much for watching.